a spheroid, or ellipsoid of revolution is a quadric surface obtained by rotating an ellipse about one of its principal axes. In other words, an ellipsoid with two equal semi-diameters. If the ellipse is rotated about its major axis, the result is a prolate spheroid, like an American football or rugby ball. If the ellipse is rotated about its minor axis, the result is an oblate spheroid, like a lentil. If the generating ellipse is a circle, the result is a sphere. Because of the combined effects of gravitation and rotation, the Earth's shape is roughly that of a sphere slightly flattened in the direction of its axis. For that reason, in cartography the Earth is often approximated by an oblate spheroid instead of a sphere. The current world geodetic system model uses a spheroid whose radius is 6378.137 km at the equator and 6356.752 km at the poles. The word spheroid originally meant an approximately spherical body, admitting irregularities even beyond the bi or triaxial ellipsoidal shape, and that is how it is used in some older papers on geodesy. In case there is risk of confusion, it is beneficial to state for clarity the one definition intended. Equation The equation of a triaxial ellipsoid centered at the origin with semi-axes A, B, C aligned along the coordinate axes is. The equation of a spheroid with OS as the symmetry axis is given by setting A equals B. The semi-axis A is the equatorial radius of the spheroid, and C is the distance from center to pole along the symmetry axis. There are two possible cases. AC, AAA oblate spheroid, AC, AAA prolate spheroid. The case of A equals C reduces to a sphere. Area, an oblate spheroid with C, A has surface area. The oblate spheroid is generated by rotation about the OS axis of an ellipse with semi-major axis A and semi-minor axis C. Therefore E may be identified as the eccentricity A derivation of this result may be found at a prolate spheroid with C, A has surface area. The prolate spheroid is generated by rotation about the OS axis of an ellipse with semi-major axis C and semi-minor axis A, therefore E may again be identified as the eccentricity A derivation of this result may be found at these formulas are identical in the sense that the formula for can be used to calculate the surface area of a prolate spheroid and vice versa. However, E then becomes imaginary and can no longer directly be identified with the eccentricity. Both of these results may be cast into many other forms using standard mathematical identities and relations between parameters of the ellipse. Volume The volume inside a spheroid is if A equals 2A is the equatorial diameter, and C equals 2C is the polar diameter, the volume is curvature. If a spheroid is parameterized as where is the reduced or parametric latitude, is the longitude, and and, then its Gaussian curvature is, and its mean curvature is. Both of these curvatures are always positive, so that every point on a spheroid is elliptic. See also, ellipsoid prolate spheroid, oblate spheroid, ovoid, references, torge, geodesy, pages 104, 1, oblate spheroid, from Wolfram Mathworld. Mathworld.wolfram.com. Retrieved June 24, 2014 a, prolate spheroid, from Wolfram Mathworld. Mathworld.wolfram.com October 7, 2003. Retrieved June 24, 2014 a,